Ikaw lang ang sasambahin, paligid man ay magdilim, Jesus. Kahit may subiranin man, lagi kang aawitan, ikaw lamang kahit kailan.
sukatan sa pagsubok na iyong pinahihintulutan sa Pagising sa umaga na aalala ka Nasasabit ang puso ko na makapiling ka Umaawit sa masamba, sumasayaw sa'yo Naghihintay ng pangungusap mo Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. This is another rainy day here in California. We are back here in the home base. And by God's grace and mercy, we are blessed. We are healthy. We are strong because of His goodness. Because of the faithfulness of God in Christ Jesus. We are protected and the shalom 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 of god is upon us in jesus name amen and amen and amen i want you to know he loves you he loves me he is working always for our own good every word that we hear from the word of god is actually making us strong making us mature and making us more closer to god in christ jesus hallelujah Shalom, shalom, shalom. Nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen and amen. I want you to know we've been praying for you and the grace of God be upon you as we fast and pray. Hallelujah. These three days, I'm telling you, God's goodness is going to manifest. God's faithfulness is going to be revealed. And you keep growing in the anointing. Say grow in the anointing in Jesus name. And the anointing when you grow in the anointing. Every problem, every struggle becomes smaller. 
okay you grow in the power and the anointing of the holy spirit you mature and you will be able to face things in life whatever things we face in life we are stronger we are more victorious we're going to see the glory of god in jesus christ's name amen and amen and amen everybody share this live video streaming to your group chat to your family to your friends we're excited guys to share with you that you and i can have a blessed you see blessed healthy wealthy prosperous life you know long healthy life in christ jesus how do we get it somebody asked how do i get it apostle how do you get that kind of life in christ jesus very simple buy it buy how do you buy it you use the currency of life not money you use the currency of life and you use your time big time praise god the currency of life is you know time you manage your time properly we have this lady she's an accountant and she says apostle abraham when i was listening to your message last sunday i was in tears i was crying i was i was really in tears and i know god has been uh speaking to me because as an accountant you see an accountant they always sit to it that they will give an account you see when they uh, uh, organize things they we will all give an account not only to our finances but now she realized especially my time that's why jesus said you know we will give an account uh we will hear the voice good and good faithful servant you when you are good and faithful servant it includes your time so she said i'm crying to that i will be faithful with every second in my life in jesus christ's name faithful never to waste my time anymore because remember time is the currency of life praise god for that and we praise god and i want to say to all of you guys that you know um we want to appreciate every one of you who prayed with us during our conference in north california north north carolina it was powerful with the myanmar uh, people it was so special we have some people come from different churches but praise god for pastor tang Coop and and uh, family and the congregation it was amazing you know what is the greatest revival lives changed there were there was a lot of transformation people were confessing their sins okay and, and before god and even to me and just to ask for forgiveness could you ever imagine when people are willing to confess the wrong things before god and before you know men of god i'm telling you that is revival that's change of heart change of mind so praise god for that let's go for our holy communion heavenly father we ask that you would bless this bread and this cup sanctify it make it holy under the elements of the holy communion we declare pass over we declare healing we declare restoration by his wounded body we are whole we're healed we're healthier we are stronger our youth is renewed like an eagle in jesus name bless this bread and this cup right now and i'm declaring you are well you are healthy you are strong in Jesus' name, and all kinds of favor overtake your life this week, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. After supper, he took the cup, signed this cup, is the new covenant in my blood. Drink this in remembrance of me. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm declaring to you, you can have blessed healthy wealthy long satisfied life in christ jesus you claim it but you can always have it let it be a reality say reality not only claiming you know a lot of people are claiming but to have a reality you must use your time buy that uh, you buy a prosperous life by using your currency of life what is the currency of life it's not peso it's not us dollar it's time so let me bring to you psalms 39 verse 4 again i want you to hear this if you have not heard the message last sunday i'm asking you give yourself a favor repeat it again 
you know I, I will be sharing to you some of the things that i did and i'm i'm upgrading myself you know I, I'm, I'm really upgrading myself that i will never waste my time I, i'm i'm 61 and i praise god for that and i will i promise god that lord that i will be very careful to use my time wisely say he wait wait uh, uh, use my time wisely psalms 34 verse uh 39 verse 4 it says lord remind me this is the psalmist david said lord remind me how important is my time on earth remind me that my days are numbered did you hear that i preached that on sunday and you see you see we need to be wise right now no more wasting of time no more idle time say no more idle time no more one of the great waster of time uh time waster you want to know what is a time waster is when you hear negative things and they talk bad about you and you keep thinking and thinking and thinking uh, about that and you argue with people you argue i don't have not now i have no more time to think of all the negative things uh, they say negative things about me i say bless you god bless you i have no time to think about it i move on because i have more time with the holy spirit i have more time to pray i will use my time wisely i will be able i was reading my books i was uh, uh, amazing i become more conscious about my time and to buy a good healthy blessed happy wealthy life and good marriage and good family relationship look at me use your time wisely buy a good relationship look at me buy a good relationship by using the currency of life okay that is time time is the currency of life spend time with your children spend time with your wife spend time with your sister or brother or your mother if they are still alive or your or your father spend time because not all the time look at me they will be with you so very very important and i i've i've always said to apostle sarah many years ago that you know you know, you you have right now dorcas joshua esther because there will be a time we cannot do that anymore because they will have their own family one day somebody's hugging them and it's true but you know until today we praise god that our children still hug us love us kiss us so this is very important invest say invest invest your time studying invest your time learning the word of god invest learning the principles of the word of god in bless invest your time by applying those principles uh listen carefully um you remember the time that uh i think three two weeks ago my our tire exploded when we were driving going to sacramento for like two hours and um we waited to have a replacement for the tires uh here you need to book you need to wait for the replacement of the tires and we waited because they don't have the tire the same size so it's only today could you ever imagine almost two weeks we waited so i was using the spare tire and when we check into that they replace the new tire that they have in costco uh it, it they said it's around one hour and a half to two hours you know what i did i took my headset headphone and i said listening what listening to men of god preaching the word of god i did not waste my time while just sitting there and waited for almost two hours in costco i was listening i was feeding myself with the word of god feeding myself with faith to in to 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 strengthen my faith in the lord and then i was reading the bible through my cell phone and i was also praying in the spirit four things was happening i was reading my bible i was listening to uh to the word of god but to the men different men of god and i was uh, i was praying in tongues all at the same time and at the same time they were replacing repairing uh you know putting back the you know the the uh, the spare tire to the van and they they were changing the tires four things were happening in two hours i never wasted time you see i learned something in my life with all these messages that it's time to manage your life well you are called to be good manager and when you're a good manager get ready for this 
you are about to experience more from the Lord in Jesus' name. I'm declaring to you, more is coming. God will trust you with more. How many of you are re receiving that right now in Jesus' name? Amen. One uh, a lady, she is an adult, uh, adult uh, senior citizen. She said, I'm sealing that uh, word of God last Sunday, uh, Apostle Abraham. Yes, I'm a senior citizen, but I will never waste my time. I'm going to really, really um going to go for god and all the days of my life is going to be a fruitful productive days in jesus name ecclesiastes why is that we need to do that remember uh ecclesiastes 8 verse 6 for there is a time and a way for everything you see it's not true you have no time and um we were praying for a young pastor in in North Carolina and the Lord gave me a word and the Holy Spirit just show me his life and says you always say I have no time and you know what he just you know laughed and says how did you know that how did you know I, you don't know me and I said the Holy Spirit is showing me because uh, that we always reason out we have no time and we need to repent for that because there is a time and a way for everything if there is a will there is a way i'll say it again if there is a will there is a way sa tagalog pag gusto may paraan pag ayaw na pakadaming dahilan so uh, and i like what it says in ecclesiastes god gave this revelation to king solomon even when a person is in trouble there is always a time and there is a way for everything there is a way out for all the problems god is bringing you out of all the situation that are not good and there is always victory there is always a victory for every situation in jesus name amen so you see brothers and sisters every one of you listening right now it's time to say no nobody's stealing my time when you say nobody steal my money nobody steal my jewelry my earring my my watch the same you don't you now say nobody's stealing my time because it's very very precious valuable like diamonds like you know gold like diamonds so you have to see that way and you manage your time properly and i was so grateful I, I was so grateful and I said to the man that was really uh, assisting in the tire repair, I said, I'll grab my headset. I'm going to listen while you're doing the fixing of my tire. I'm not going to waste my time just sitting here and just waiting for nothing. No, I, I built up my faith. I built up my mind. I was praying in the spirit. I was praying in the spirit. Are you listening to me? I was praying in the spirit. While I was listening, I was praying in the spirit. I was praying for you. Pray for every single person that's listening online that you will just learn to really maximize your time properly in Jesus' name. Father, thank you right now for this beautiful revelation that there is time. Say, there is time, okay? And a way for everything when we fix our mind to manage our lives manage our emotion no more lies uh you know the enemy will give us all negative emotions tampo resentment anger but you say no i have no time for that i have no more time for uh, having those tampo in jesus name i have no more time people always say i have no time you're actually believing a lie okay i have time for power group i have time to worship i have time to take my shower i have time to 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 read a bible to and share and a fun time with my children with my with my grandchildren i have time i have there is time when you make time you don't find time people say if i'll i find time no you find time you don't find time you make time you make time to be with your family you make time with your children you make time with your with 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 the people around you in the name of Jesus, for the glory of God. Father, thank you for this word that we will redeem the time and we will own back what belongs to us. It is time to re-own. 
the time. We will not allow the enemy to steal our time anymore in Jesus' name. If you're here for the first time and you don't know Jesus, you have not accepted him as your Savior and Lord, this is now the time. You don't want to waste your time. Would you pray with me and say, Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Savior, my Lord. My life is yours. Take over my life. You're my Savior, my Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Everybody, I want you to, guys, there's a lot of people that are wasting very valuable gift from God, and that is the currency of lifetime. Share it. Send it to your children. Send it to your family. Send it to your cousins to you, and post it right now because we will help somebody fix their time and use the currency of life and, you know, that is time. God bless. See you tomorrow. And be blessed, guys. Be blessed. Amen. Be blessed by using the currency of life. Yung ating pong oras. So uh, there's a time for everything. And I uh, thank God that uh, you have taken the time uh, uh, to be with here online to pray with us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, if we will give more time to the Lord, surely you will experience more. From the Lord. Let's all bow down our heads and pray. Father God, once again, we just want to thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah that you have woke us up this morning. We thank you that we have strength, we have energy, we have voice. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, that we are well, we are wise, we are wealthy, happy, and healthy in Christ. And Lord, uh, uh, we pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us today, oh God, as we pray. Allow your Holy Spirit to, uh, 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 to give us the utterance of prayer. We believe, Lord, as uh, we continually pray with you, to you, we believe, Lord God, that you hear us and you will answer all our prayers. Father God, once again, uh, continue to teach us to pray with sincerity, without any hypocrisy, not mechanical, but always spiritual. May you alone be glorified in this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody says amen and amen.
strength of our heart. Thank you, Lord. You are our strength and we depend on you as we pray today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Ngayon pong ibagang to, mananalangin tayo sa mga tao, iba't ibang light, iba't ibang bansa. Ay araw pong ito, ipapanalangin natin ang bansang Cuba. So let's pray for Cuba. Pray for growing numbers of house churches to affect or influence the grip of communism. Let's pray for more Bibles and other Christian resources to be made available to this thirsting nation. Let's pray for evangelism and discipleship of Cuban expatriates around the world. Cuba, with the end of Soviet assistance, the continued U.S. embargo, and their own state ministries struggling to make provisions, Cubans have long developed creative means to scrap together, to scrape together and uprise for the weak, connect to utilities, and maneuver around a crumbling infrastructure. Cubans are very nationalistic and love their country. They appreciate that the state provides high levels of reputable security, health care, and education, and often find that all other government services are unreliable. They have access to smartphones and televisions, but aging infrastructure and frequent power outages make them inefficient. Cuba is a thought. totalitarian state run by a one-party communist regime that limits freedom and personal liberties, curtails independent journalists, and arrests those who criticize the government. While maintaining strict control over people's lives, the government implemented many new economic reforms in 2010. However, 80% of Cubans are still employed by the government. and remittances from overseas relatives account for $2 billion a year. In 2010, Cuba officially shifted from being an atheist nation to a secular one. However, in order to be approved by the government, churches must be members of the Cuban Council of Churches or CCC. Those that do not register with the CCC are unable to print Bibles or repair or build structures. They also face harsh intimidation like uh, loss of work, inability to apply for top jobs, denied access to universities, utilities shut off, and even imprisonment. All churches are under surveillance. and do not know which of their members are CCC informants. So Cuba appears more open, intimidation, and a lack of Bibles are continual obstacles to the spread of the gospel. So let's pray that the church will stand strong at maging open, totally open na. pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos without any surveillance or intimidation from the government. Cuba is located in North America. Ang capital city po niya is Havana with 11 million people. And thank God, marami sa kanila Christian, 62%. Followed by agnostic belief, 17% and spiritist, 17% respectively. 80s at around 4%. At counting na lamang po ang unreached, hindi pa nakarin ng World of God, 0.3%. So we will pray for Cuba, we we'll pray for Macau, Philippines. And of course, we'll pray for your prayer request. Type nyo lang po dyan sa comment section, sa chat box, O kaya po sa ating prayer wall, ano man po mga panalangin, ilapit po natin sa Panginoon at sama-sama po tayong manampalataya at maniwala. Diyos ang sasagot in this perfect time, perfect place. So, sige po, type nyo lang po kung ano man po mga prayer request nyo dyan. We will pray for all of it later. Lord 
Lord Jesus, we pray for the island nation of Cuba, a nation where almost all of churches built 50 years ago remain closed, but these are only buildings. We thank you, God, that you have been opening the hearts of the people with your word, with your love, your mercy, with your grace, and that now more than three times as many Cubans have found you, the Lord Jesus Christ, where they worship in sugarcane fields, where they worship in houses with no interior walls, only posts so they can fit more people into the house where they worship on farms, in the coasts, in the mountains, and some still have a few remaining church buildings where they can go. But we thank you, Lord, that it's because of your spirit for the hunger to know you that the Cuban people are finding God. We pray for the young people in Cuba who've been under threat from the police and the government because they witness for you in the parks. They witness for you door to door with the sheer love of knowing you, knowing who you are. We pray, Lord, that you give the Cuban people courage as they respect their nation, they respect their authorities, but every day they launch out and inspire us in how to share you, even when they have nothing, but they have everything, as the scripture says, as they live in poverty, but they have the rich grace and love of you that they share with others. We pray for this island nation of Cuba. Continue to sweep over it. Continue to spread your joy, your salvation, Lord. You who was never arrested today and never imprisoned because of your Holy Spirit, we thank you that the Cuban people have this same spiritual foundation in you. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
Yes, this is so God. This is how I fight my battles belongs to you, Panginoon, O God. All our battles belong to you, Panginoon, O God. And all the battles will be victory, Panginoon, O God. Sa pamamagitan niyo lamang po, Lord God. Sa gawat tulong niyo lamang po, Lord God. Ipinagkakatiwala namin, Lord God, ang lahat ng battles sa aming buhay, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus, O so God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, O so God. Thank you, Lord God, for this morning, Panginoon, O God, na pinagkalawag niyo po sa amin, Lord God, sa kalakasan, Panginoon, O God, na lahat ng nagagaling, lahat po ng kalakasan ay nagagaling lamang sa'yo, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat po, Lord God, for the great opportunity, Lord God, to pray all the nations, Panginoon, this morning, Panginoon, O God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, O God, sa sa pag pag pagkakaloob niyo po sa amin Panginoon oh God pag-appoint niyo po sa amin Lord God na ipanalangin ng iba't ibang bansa Lord God continue Lord God to anoint us with your Holy Spirit Lord God to pray all the nations Panginoon oh God continue Lord God to give us more wisdom and knowledge Panginoon oh God upang mailapit namin sa iyo ang iba't ibang bansa Lord God na Panginoon sa umaga ng Lord God humihingi rin po kami ng kapatawaran Lord God sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan Lord God sinadyaman po hindi Lord God sinabi man po Panginoon na Lumabas sa aming bibig, Lord God, na hindi ka lugod-lugod sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to open our heart, Panginoon, Lord God, upang maging karapat-dapat po kami sa iyong harapan at malaya ka po makakilis sa aming buhay, Lord God. Muli, Panginoon, Lord God, sa umagang ito, Lord God, dilalapit po namin sa iyo ang bansang Cuba, Lord God. We pray for growing numbers of house starters to affect the grip of communism, Panginoon, Lord God. Lord God, Jesus, ikaw po ang higit na nakakalam, Lord God, ng bilang ng mga tao, Panginoon, O God, sa bansang Cuba, Lord God, na lahat, Panginoon, O God, na umaaten sa iyong tarts, Panginoon, O God, sila po, Panginoon, lahat na nakakarinig ng, ng iyong salita, Panginoon, O God, ito po ay magirema sa kailang puso't isipan, Lord God, maisa sa puso, masa sa isip at maisa sa gawa nila, Lord God, at sila po, Panginoon, O God, ay tunay na lalapit sa iyo, tunay na, na magtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon, O God, ito po, Panginoon, ang patuloy na mag-anoint, Lord God, sa mga ta- sa tao, Lord God, sa bansang Cuba, Lord God, sa mga pastors and missionary, Panginoon, sa bansang ito, Panginoon. Ikaw, Lord God, ang patuloy na magbigay ng wisdom and knowledge sa kanila, Lord God, and more pressure relations, Panginoon, O God, na nanggagaling lamang sa Lord God, na sa lahat, Panginoon, O God, na encouragement, Panginoon, o, na magagaling sa iyo sa kanilang bibig, Panginoon, O God, ito ay magmumutawis sa kailang mga puso't isipan, Lord God. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, O God, dahil ngayon pa lamang po, Lord God, kiniklaim na po namin, Lord God, ang victory, Panginoon, O God, ng gansang Cuba, Lord God, sa lahat ng umaaten, Lord God, at patuloy pa po makakakilala sa iyo na magpitiwala at aasa lamang po sa iyo, Lord God. And we will pay for more Bibles and other Christian resources to be made available to this Christing nation, Panginoon, O God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, O God, ang, magka- ang magbigay, Panginoon, ang magkaloob sa kanila, Lord God, ng mga, na ikaw po ang magbibigay ng paraan, Panginoon, O God. Gagamit ka po, Lord God, ng tao, Lord God, ng mga bagay, Panginoon, O God, na instrumento, Lord God, upang patuloy, Lord God, na magkaroon, Panginoon, ng mga Biblia, Panginoon, sa bansang ito, Lord God, at patuloy na mahuuhaw ang mga tao dito sa iyong mga salita, Panginoon, O God. At patuloy ka nilang hahanap-hanapin sa tweet-tweet na Panginoon, O God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang patuloy na manguna, Lord God, sa mga taong narito, Panginoon, O God, upang patuloy silang magutong at mauhaw sa iyong mga salita, Panginoon, O God. Even we pray for evangelism and discipleship of Cuban expat- expatriates around the world, Panginoon, O God. Ikaw po ang patuloy na mag-anoint sa kanila, gumamit sa kanila, gumamit sa kanila Panginoon, O God upang patuloy po sila, Panginoon, upang patuloy na ma- makilala ang iyong pangalan, Lord God, sa buong mundo, sa pamamagitan ng mga, mga Cuban expatriates, Panginoon, Lord God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang patuloy na magbigay ng wisdom and knowledge sa kanila, Lord God, na, na lahat, Panginoon, Lord God, na lalabas sa kailang bibig, Panginoon, Lord God, at lahat na makakarinig ng iyong mga salita sa pamamagitan nila, Panginoon, Lord God. Ito, Panginoon, ay magmumutawi sa kailang mga puso't isipan, Panginoon, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God, sa bansang Cuba, Panginoon, Lord God. Alam po namin, Lord God, ang mga tao narito, Lord God, ay nakarinig na ng iyong mga salita, Panginoon, Lord God. Ang tangay na lamang po, Lord God, na dalangin namin, Lord God, na sa mga tao narito, Panginoon, Lord God, ito, tunay ang pagkakalala sa iyo, tunay ang paglapit sa iyo, Panginoon, at tunay ang pagdepende sa iyo, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Lord God, for this country, Panginoon, Lord God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, na maguna sa kailang mga buhay, Panginoon, Lord God. Ikaw po, Panginoon, na mag... Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang patuloy, Lord God, na, na makilala... Uh, 
makilala sa bansang ito, Lord God, at lahat ng tao dito, Lord God, sa iyo lamang po aas at didepende, Panginoon, Lord God. Muli, Lord God, ang victory, Panginoon, ng bansang Cuba ay sa iyo lamang po namin pinapaubaya, Lord God. Let your will be done, Panginoon, for this country. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for all the children and youth all over Macau that they may excel academically to be obedient children of God and to the parents and authorities to learn the ways of God. Yes, Lord, may you open up more the eyes of children, parents, and people in Macau, O Lord, that they may know you more. And may you use more man of God, O Lord, to share the gospel with them, to share your light, O Lord, in this darkest world. As I believe, O Lord, that everything will follow as they abide in you, know your name, walk on your ways, and have a relationship in you. They will excel in everything that they will do, O Lord. Lord, I pray that may you open up more their eyes to the things that is unseen, the heavenly things, O Lord, to know more your words and to accept you as their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and not to the earthly things, O Lord, like materialism, idolatries, addictions, and many more wicked things. Lord, I even pray that may you move more mightily, O Lord, most especially to all the parents, so that they may know you more, and they will teach their children and their children and their children that you are Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, I even pray for the government of Macau, that may you give them more wisdom to take the right decisions and actions, legislate godly and morally collect laws for the benefits of all citizens. Yes, Lord, our wisdom and understanding of the government, O oh Lord, that they may focus on the reason and to more businesses, Panginoon, rather than casinos, O oh Lord, to stop it and to stop the saying all over Macau that it is a sin city rather than it will change. There will be a revival, Panginoon, that Macau will be a city of worship, worshiping you as their Savior, worshiping you as their Lord Jesus Christ. I pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
kami lahat ay pantay-pantay sa inyong mga mata, O Lord God. Kami lahat ay pantay-pantay sa inyong pagmamahal, O Lord God. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na lahat po ng mga kasamahan po namin, lahat po ng mga kapatidan po namin, O Lord God, na nawawalan ng pag-asa, O Lord God, na nawawalan ng, na, na nawawalan ng, uh, ng landas sa buhay, O Lord God, na nawawalan ng, uh, ng, uh, um, ng pag-asa sa buhay, O Lord God. Lord, dalangin po namin na palakasin mo sa sila ng spiritual, O Lord God. Bidyan niyo po sila ng uh, pag-iisip, O Lord God, na naaalis niyo, O Lord God. Alis niyo po, Panginoon, na lahat po ng mga gawa ng saamin sa kanilang pag-iisip, O Lord God. Dalangin po namin na matibay ng matibay na puso at isip, O Lord God. Guide their heart, guide their mind, Lord Jesus, O Lord God. Na haway po, Panginoon, matagpuan po nila kayo, O Lord God. Na 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 matagpuan nila yung inyong pagmamahal sa kanyang buhay, O Lord God. Upang sa ganun po, Panginoon, ay magkaroon sila ng lakas na loob na harapin ang buhay sa araw-araw, ang hamon ng buhay sa araw-araw, O Lord God, na hindi sila nag-iisa, O Lord God, na hindi sila nag-iisap, nakasama kayo, O Lord God. Alam po namin ang buhay sa mundo ito, O Lord God, ay hindi ganun ka, ka, hindi ganun ka, ka, uh, kadali na, na, nahanapin, O Lord God. Pero pag, um, pero pag nandyan po sa buhay po lang, namin, O Lord God, ay hindi, hindi po kami matatakot. Sabi nyo nga po, Panginoon, hindi dapat po kami mangamba o hindi po dapat kami matakot dahil kasama namin po, O Lord God. Lord, you are the our life of our heart all and our life, O Lord God. Puli po yun ang maraming salamat. Ganun din po, Panginoon, sa aming, sa aming mga government, uh, government officials, O Lord God, sa mga, sa mga, gobyerno, O Lord God, sa lahat po ng mga asanay ng gobyerno sa bansa Pilipinas, O Lord God, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, naalas po, po na inyo, Panginoon, ang lahat po ng gawa ng krimen, O Lord God, dalangin po, Panginoon, magkaroon po sila ng pagkakaisa, O Lord God, magkakaroon po sila ng uh, uh, pagtutulungan sa bawat isa, O Lord God, alas po, po lahat po ng mga korupsyon, lahat po ng mga hindi kaayang gawa, gawain sa mga sa mga sa mga sa mga government agencies o Lord but cause magkaroon sila ng pag uh, magkaroon sila ng mga programa kung paano matutulungan ang mga kababayan po namin dito sa bansa ng Pilipinas o Lord God na magkaroon ng uh, uh, ng programa kung paano nila matutulungan ang mga sambayanan o Lord God na magkaroon ng uh, maayos na pamumuhay o Lord God talaga din po Panginoon ang ang pagwakas po ng mga Panginoon ng mga Patayan, O Lord God, ang kaguluhan dito sa bansa ng Pilipinas, O Lord God. Naway ang, naway ang aming presidente, O Lord God, ay magkaroon po ng, pag, ng, ng pag-iisip, O Lord God, ng, uh, magkaro- ng pag-iisip, O Lord God, kung paano, O Lord God, na ma-unite ang mga, mga mamayang Pilipino, O Lord God, na makinto po ang mga gera, ang mga patayan, ang mga, ang mga gawaan ng mga kagilidad, ng mga... Uh, mga pagnanakaw, O Lord God, o anumang uri ng patayan, O Lord God. Lord, aking kabutihan mo lamang po, Panginoon, ang sa maghari sa aming bansang Pilipinas, O Lord God. Dalahin po namin, O Lord God, kakapin mo ang aming, ang aming presidente, lahat po ng mga namumuno sa mga gover- government agencies, O Lord God, na ipo po ang maghari sa aming mga buhay, O Lord God. Dalahin po namin ang kapayapaan at pagkakaisa ng aming sambayan ng Pilipinas, O Lord God. Muli, Panginoon, maraming salamat sa iyo po lamang namin may kataas ang bansa ng Pilipinas, O Lord God. Sa iyo po naman aming nataas ang lahat ng papul ka sa salamat sa Panginoon Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Lord, we just want to thank you for you always hear us every time we call and every time we pray. Maraming salamat at uh, patuloy mong indingatan ng bansa ng Macau, bansa ng Pilipinas. At ang uh, bansa, Lord God, na ayon pong dinadalangin sa isa, we twin na. Panginoon, uh, this is out of our control, but you have the control of everything. At uh, muli, Panginoon, I uh, pray, Lord God, sa, uh, sa mga prayer request, dalangin ko, Panginoon, ang kagalingan ni Virgie at saka ni Karen na meron pong nararamdaman na hindi po masyadong maganda sa kanila pong katawan. We, and uh, we continually pray, Lord, hallelujah, for, uh, for uh, Sister Lloyd sa kanya po nga patuloy na paggaling, ganoon din pa si Sayon, oh Lord, hallelujah, na siya po ilalaki, Lord God, na normal, at wala pong problema sa pagsasalita. I pray, Lord God, for everyone that is uh, joining us right now, nagbula kay Sister Estela, kay Dave, kay Mabi, kay Karen, kay Judas, kay Jonathan, kay Angel, kay Crystal, kay Elisa, Helen, Jerome, at saka kay Arby. At uh, ganoon din Panginoon sa FB, Lord, uh, mga kasama po natin sa FB, kay Tess, kay Sandra, kay Len Angelo, kay Josie, Raquel, Perla, 
Debbie Gary Boy, Rogeline, and Monique Oga. Father God, I pray. Ano man po ang uh, dalangin po nila sa umaking ito, yung kapatuin. Uh, kung ito man po pang ano, problema sa kanila pong kalusugan, bigyan mo sila ng kalakasan at, uh, at uh, karunungan sa lahat po ng kanila po pagdidesisyon sa araw na ito. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah po. You will help us, O God, to live our very purpose for this day. And I believe that by the power of your Holy Spirit, ano man mga bagay na mahirap ay magiging madali para sa bawat sa po sa amin. And I speak, Lord God, favor after favor, blessing after blessings, For every ABCF church members and leaders, oh God, and workers, uh, wherever they are, saan man po sila nasa, sa, sa, nasa trabaho man po sila, nasa pamamahinga. Lord, uh, we pray na patuloy mo siyong katagpuin, oh God, ang uh, kanila po ang mga needs, especially, especially, Lord God, ang kanila po spiritual needs. Patuloy mo silang bigyan ng kaohohan, kagutuman, na ikaw ay hanapin, at uh, ganun din, Panginoon, na palagi kang hanapin at saliksikin ang yung mga salita na siya magbibigay sa kanila ng karunungan at uh, kaalaman at higit sa lahat mga biyay at pagpapala na sa ilamang magbibigay. Mga Lord, we're praying, Lord, hallelujah for our service for tonight. We pray, Lord, God, for a good weather. We pray, Lord, that we will always be excited in going uh, in meeting uh, together. We are always excited, Lord God, in worshiping you. We'll be always excited in hearing your words. And Lord, uh, anoint every servants of yours that you will be using tonight. O oh God, magbula sa mga magpapaawit. O oh Lord, every every members, O oh Lord, hallelujah, every work is that you will be used tonight. I can meet you mightily. And uh, continue to help us, O oh God, to be more persuasive in our approach in uh, sharing your gospel. Hallelujah. And I pray, Lord, hallelujah, that this day is a, is a day of a renewal, revival, and you will uh, be with us, O oh God, in uh, in every single second of our life today. We will continue, Lord God, to make use of our time, which is the currency of life. And we will always make time, O oh God, hallelujah, in meeting you, in praying, in devotion, in our Bible study, because this is really life. Father God, once again, we just want to thank you. We honor you. We love you. And we'll continue, Lord God, to worship you throughout the day. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen and Amen and Amen. surrounded by his presence and power yes that's why and then that's how we fight our battles through thanksgiving and prayer that's why we are blessed in christ amen in christ i am carefully and wonderfully created wonderfully created in his image and likeness 
in Christ. I experience the miracle working power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is my partner, partner, guide, supporter, and and shield. In Christ, Christ, I am an overcomer and more than a conqueror. For he has overcome sin, the enemy, enemy, and and the the world. world. Amen. People will call me blessed Blessed. because of the finished work work of Jesus Christ on on the cross. In Christ, I, I am qualified, valuable, anointed, determined, equipped, organized, empowered to do great things. Amen. In Christ, I'm covered by His precious blood, and I'm protected against all sickness, plans, and works of the enemy. I am living I am for God's purpose. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Be a blessing. I am abundantly blessed in Christ forever. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, po, Pastor. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Jerome. Hi. How are you all? <laughs> Amen. Hello, Paul. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ate. Good morning. 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 Good Okay, Jerome, wala pasok, Jerome? Uh, Kanina po, maaga po akong pinauwi. Wow. Uh, wow. Po, yeah. Ayan po, pagka Sunday, day off po ako para kay Lord, lagi. Wow. Amen. Thanks God. Thank you, Lord. Meron na kayong church na inyatinan? Opo, meron na po ako kung napupunta ang church, malapit po dito sa amin. Canadian? Opo, Canadian po, English po. Uh, Tapos, bukas po, meron po ako meeting dun sa younger pastor for joining the worship team po. Wow, praise God. Wow. Oh. Crystal, meron ka ng church crystal dyan? Wala pa, pastor. Wow, ikaw na lang tayo ng church dyan. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sira, yun naman sabi ni Lord, be the church, kung ano ng church. Eh. So, <laughs> oh, oh, pastor, in Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play with you. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, let's have a, uh, our uh, best smile. <laughs> let's have our picture. Nakadalawa na ako. Isa na lang. Ay, Ready? Ay, One, wala pa two, heart. three. A heart. Go. Yan, okay. okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a pleasure to meet you tonight. Have a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, brother. Thank you for me. Thank you, brother. 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 Thank you